Hello everybody, this is Raphael from GG Servers, and today we are going to show how to install and use luck perms on your Minecraft server. This is a full guide where we are going to set up 5 roles for the server, and commands to each one of the roles explaining how to do everything from scratch. First of all, if you have your server on vanilla, we will need to stop it and change it to paper server type so we can add plugins to it. On the server type, search for paper and the version you need and simply change it as we do on the video. Press to start. If you are running other server types, you can also add luck perms to your server. Head over to their website using the link in the description and download the type you need. The setup process should be the same across all types. Now that the server is up, press to stop and go on installers and plugin installer. Change the source to spigot and search for luck perms. In this case, you want to look for the one that says an advanced permission system, which is the original one. Press install. We also want to install it in this tutorial. Essentials X plugin. Change the source to book it and type Essentials X on the search bar. Essentials adds many useful commands such as set home, embassy, back and many others. Now that you have installed them, go back and press start. Go to the server console and once the server is fully started, type LP editor. This will bring up a link to the Luckperms editor where you are going to add the roles and permissions. Let's start. We are going first to create a default group, uh, which later on we will rename it to member, a staff group, moderator, admin group, and finally owner, in this order. For the default group, we want players to have the ability to say and give for now, so we will add these two. You can also check all default Minecraft permission nodes on our guide, which will be linked in the description below. Now, as a good practice, it's important to add the weight zero to this role, which means it's the role that has fewer powers within the server. We will also parent this group to itself so it won't have permissions from other groups. Now let's create our second group, the staff group. Type the name, increase the weight to one, type the same for the display name, and add a prefix between brackets to it. Make sure to parent to the default group so this role will have all default permissions as well. Now we will open the Essentials X permission page where we can get all permissions available through Essentials. So we can add to this role on our server. In this example, we want this role to have all kick commands to it. So we type kick on the search bar so it will search the permissions that have the kick with it. Just click on the permission and it will automatically copy to your clipboard so you can paste it on lock perms. We have now pasted all six kick permissions. Once you are done with it, press the add button. Now, the moderator group. Type the group name, increase the weight to two now. Type a display name, a prefix, and parent this group to the staff one. So it will also have all staff permissions. Press add group. Now we want this role to have access to all ban permissions. So we type ban in the search bar, and instead of adding each command individually, you will add the asterisk to the permission you want the role to have access to. So type the permission and add a dot and asterisk to it. We will do the same for the other permissions. Let's go for the admin group. Type the group name, increase the weight to three, type a display name, a prefix, and parent this group to the moderator one, so it will also have all moderator staff and default permissions consequentially. To this one, we will add the NBC and all game modes permissions. However, if you want a specific permission to not be used on the role, for example, simply change the value of the permission from true to false. We will also add the broadcast permission for his role. Finally, we will create the owner group. Type the group name, increase the weight to 4, type a display name, a prefix, and parent this group to the admin role. Here, you want to add the asterisk permission which will give all possible permissions to all commands. We will also include the luck perms, Minecraft and Essentials, all with a dot and asterisk at the end. Now that we are done, save at the top right of the page and click on it to copy the command. Then go back to your server console and paste it without the slash. Press send. The permissions are now applied to the server 
Now to change the name of the default group to member, as said at the beginning of the video. Simply copy this command and change the final part of it to the name you would like to apply to your default group, in this case member. We will also add this page in the description below so you can read through it and get the command as well. Let's join the server to see if it's working. Upon joining normal players will be automatically added to the default member group. So to change the group type LP user and then the username parent set and the group name. We can now go back to the server and the commands for the role we just assigned should be working. That's it. You have now learned how to install, set up and use LuckPerms on your server. If you find this video helpful, please consider giving a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.